My name is Don. I own and operate Virtual 360 Images. The following videos are going to be on Adobe Print Shop Elements 11. In this video, I'm going to talk a little about layering two pictures and blending them together. We're using Photoshop Elements 11 and we're also in the mode of Expert. I've gone ahead and imported two pictures. One is a background picture of uh, Fort Myers Beach. The other picture is of our granddaughter and her boyfriend. And the picture was taken in the parking lot of Burger King in Sarasota, Florida. What we're going to do is blend their picture into the background of Fort Myers Beach. The first thing I'm going to do is on the right hand side in where it says background. I'm going to double click on that. A dialog calls it a new layer. I'm going to say layer 01 and click OK. Our other one is considered as our background. I think you'll see that this goes a lot easier than what you may have thought when people say they transpose a picture into another picture. Uh, it's not magic, but uh, we're going to make magic out of it. We're going to come up to the word image up at the top on the toolbar. Click. We're going to come down where it says magic extractor. Click. Our screen's going to change. We have several options on this screen. One is to identify the foreground and the background. On the left hand side you'll see a couple little airbrushes. The first one as you can see pops up says foreground paintbrush. The second one is the background. I'm going to select the foreground and as you can see I'm going to move the mouse over along the side of the red truck so you can actually see it. The brush isn't very large at this point over on the left side it says brush size click on the arrow beside it I can enlarge the size of that brush and I'm going to come up to 53, 54 somewhere in that area now if I go back over on the side of the truck you can see the size of the brush what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here on the kids I've got it up on top of her forehead hold down the mouse and start dragging around. You don't have to be a hundred percent if a little bit of overlap onto the side does not hurt because we're going to blend that out later. We're going to fill in the whole edge of what we want to cut out. As I come down there, missed a little bit there, come back up the other side of her head, come down it, like I said, we can be a little bit over the line. You're better off to be a little over the line than in because we can always blend the background into it. If we've erased part of their hair, part of their face, uh, once we get to the overlaying, we can't come back and put it in. So if we're a little over, that's not going to kill us or hurt us. So if I can get up over the top of his head, get his ear in there, follow down his neckline, got over maybe a little further than what I wanted to, follow his shirt, sleeve and shoulder down, his arm. Now we also have to keep in mind too, there is a little gap underneath his arm between the arm and the shirt. So we want to make sure we get that marked out separately there and come down the inside of his shirt. We look real close. Her fingers are around his side right there. Make sure we cover it. Once we've done that, and I usually come across the bottom, it will allow you, you need to kind of come through here and fill in some of this. You don't have to fill it in as one solid block. I kind of cover it in like this, draw some lines to it. That way it'll know that that's the area we want to remove. 
Now we're going to go back over on the left, select the second brush. Remember, that's the brush for the background. So now we're going to come along and we're going to do the same thing we did before except we're going to be on the outside. I'm going to come up on the top part of her head and you'll see it will be in blue. You don't have to be right on it because that's, like I said, later when we do the blending together, then we can fix some of that up. The closest you can get, the better off you are, the less blending you have to do on the other side. And we'll come down to the bottom, come back up to the top of her head. Fill this in between them. Up over the top of his head. If you're using a uh, desktop computer and a mouse, it works a little easier. I'm using a uh, laptop with a finger touch pad. That's why it maybe looks like I'm a little on the nervous side trying to draw a straight line with it. And again, we do the same thing as we did with the, with the red foreground. We're just going to kind of color this in a little bit. It doesn't have to be filled in solid, just so the software knows what area is the area we're removing. I can come over here to the other side and do the same thing coming down. across the bottom, do some zigzags coming up. This is going to be the easy part. I'm also going to go back over to the brush on the right side, click. I'm going to reduce the size of that brush a little bit because I've got to get that area underneath his arm That'll bring the brush down a little bit. Going a little bit too far. I need to come over now to the right side again on the brush size. I need to bring that brush down a little smaller because we've got to go over and we've got to do the area underneath his arm. If you look at the side of the truck, you can see how the size I made that brush is very small. You can come in here and enlarge that picture too, but I'm going to get by without. As you can see, between his arm and his shirt down there, we need to fill that in with some blue. I think we're done. We're going to come up here and click on Preview. As you can see, we've removed almost all of the background. There's a couple little spots in there we may want to work on. I don't know what this spot is over here on the left side, but we'll just take the blue and cover it up a little bit. I think we did pretty good for a first time shot on it. There's a little bit, we may have gotten in a little further, or out a little further on her arm. You could go back and touch up some of that. If there was something major sticking out, go back over and click on preview again. It fixed those spots we talked about. Then we're going to go up and click on OK. We're basically done with that picture. We're going to have to do some blending together in a second and uh, around her hair, around the side of his face, down the shoulder and that. But 99.9% .9 of it is done. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to click on the Fort Myers Beach picture. Okay, we've moved the picture of Fort Myers Beach up in the uh, foreground. We're going to go down to the uh, photo bend down at the bottom. Hold the mouse button down over the picture of the two kids. Hold it down, drag it up, and drop it right in the center of the picture. There they are. Now, noticing that they are a little bit out of proportion as far as the picture goes, if we come over here on the left side there's it called a move tool we click on that it puts a box similar to what you see in the crop I can drag that down a little bit I can get them down kind of in proportion for the picture 
slide them up a little bit bring it down just a little bit more and slide them kind of over towards the center a little bit once we have them where we want them all we have to do is come down in, in Adobe to accept uh, or apply is a green check mark and we'll click on the green check mark okay we have the two pictures overlaid next step is we have to come up here on the right hand side up to the top and what it did it brought in the photo name number again I want to change that to say layer 01 type that in there click up at the top here you'll see a set of little diagrams the one we want is in the middle the square blue box with a hole in it it's called add mass layer and we're going to click on that the other thing you have to remember is your color palette in the lower left side in order to do this the foreground has to be pure black the background white and that's the two we're going to rotate in between next I'm going to come up here and grab the magnifying glass make sure it's on a plus come into the center of the screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this up a little bigger so we it's a little easier to work with and you can see what we missed in the other one actually this is going to be fairly easy to correct once I get them up here a little bit in the center of the screen we ended up some of the Burger King background in there okay we're going to select the paintbrush I'm going to move the size down just a little bit on the paintbrush you can see the paintbrush there now I can come alongside of his head where that green background from the other picture is still in there and I can pull that out of there and you can kind of go back and forth to blend it a little bit what it's doing is it is actually erasing the black erases from the foreground and pulls the background through so it looks like it's there as so I come down the other side of his head and around his ear there normally I take a little more time in what I am right here because I'm I want to get through the video see I can clean that up around there below his ear I can come in there and erase the foreground and the background will show up there just kind of slowly erase it and the same thing on her head here we need to straighten the hairline out a little bit right there as we come around the top of her hair there you can see that green from the previous picture we can blend that unblend it along down through here we can straighten out her hair so that they all you see now is uh, the Gulf of Mexico and not her hair uh, and the background from the previous picture we're just going to go down here a ways to get this and then we'll move on but you can see that you can blend this out of here come down just a little bit further we can get all the way down through here underneath same way over on the other side of her face there we have a little bit of the green showing through there across the shoulder and a lot of times what I'll do is I will go ahead and make the brush smaller uh, you can see the area alongside of her face there I need to get that brush down well, even smaller than that to get that section right in through there and there's a little bit up in through there now the other thing is and you're going to see I'm going to purposely do this let's say you've slipped and you've gotten over and now I've started taking out more than his shoulder to correct that you come over here to your color palette switch the color from black the background white in the foreground 
I'm going to start first by coming up here on the side of her face where I kind of got over a little too far and I can kind of straighten that out. But I can also come over here to his shirts. So if you do make an error, you can come back and correct it at the same time. And I use a finer brush and I even blow it up a little more and, and work more of a fine detail. Uh, I did this in kind of a hurry, but to get the idea across to you, yeah, I can come down the side of her shoulder. And you can see I got in a little too far. Again, I can come over and switch the back to the white. And I can come back and kind of correct that and straighten that out. I'm going to come back up here, click on the magnifying glass. Come down here and click on the negative. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to reduce the size of that. Slide that back over the middle where you can see it. And you can see, didn't finish it. We still got some places that still need to be touched up underneath his arm, along the top of his shoulder, on down the side of her arm. But I think you pretty much get the gist of it and the idea of it. At that point, you can go ahead and save it. Remember when you do save as, you're going to end up with really two save as's. The first one is Photoshop called a PSD file. And you save it under that. And then if you have to come back in and make corrections on it, it remembers all the steps that you used to create this uh, overlay. The second time you come in to do a save as, come down here where it says Photoshop PSD. Click on the down arrow. Change it to a JPEG file. And go ahead and save it. Uh, do a save as, save it under another name rather than the name of the files that uh, you brought into it. So I hope that helps uh, as far as overlays, uh, blending a little bit, uh, how to superimpose somebody into a picture. Uh, you can do this if you want to add one person to a group of people. Uh, there's a number of things that you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. Go back, try it and uh, see how it works for you. Thank you for watching.